Hello! Right, back again for another quick test. And um, today I've got, well it's not a, a super hot, but it's still pretty warm by kind of normal standards. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure what it is. Um, this is a chili sent over again from Surajan in Berlin. And uh, he's just put unknown chili on one side of the label and Piment Lampion on the other side. Um, now, kind of had a look online, uh, looked at various images of this, that and the other. Um, I'm not exactly sure exactly what the Piment Lampion is, um, although it's obviously a habanero, you can kind of see that. Um, it does bring up references and links to the Antilles Caribbean habanero when I type this in. And um, to be honest, that's exactly what it looks like to me. Um, so I just thought I'd give it a quick crack and um, yeah I just fancy something spicy so I'll get this one down see what it does and um, we'll see we'll see what it is I mean it could be like a red savine I suppose but it's not quite got the look for it um, but it definitely does have the look of the Caribbean Antilles pepper so which I don't think I've actually tried I've had kind of normal red habaneros um, Habaneros normally mess me up pretty bad by the way, so I don't really know why I'm doing this when I don't need to. But why not? I just chop it open, we'll see what we got inside. Ooh, loads of seeds. Yeah, it does have. It's got like a light habanero flavour. I wouldn't say it's a strong habanero flavour. Sorry, I'm sat here looking at this. I'm sure you want to see inside. There we go. So, like I said, quite a few seeds in there. Very thick walled. Um, the pod feels absolutely solid. And, um, yeah, fairly decent amount of placenta, I suppose, in the middle as well. So let's get it down and um, see what it does. The unknown chilli, the Piment Lampion, or possibly Caribbean Antilles spread. Cheers! These are really crunchy. So is the pop. Really thick. Habanero flavour coming through. Mm. Flavour wise, not bad actually. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of habaneros um, a lot of the time, um, but that one actually had a nice little kind of hint of sweetness to it, uh, but not over the top sweet. And um, yeah, just a kind of light, yeah, I suppose a fruity kind of flavour. Um, very pleasant. And yeah, the heat's kind of didn't feel it much while I was chewing it up, but whoa, coming on pretty strong in the mouth now. Um, starting to doubt that it was a habanero for a second there, but no. Definitely we got some habanero heat coming through. But yeah, it's a nice, nice kind of all around mouth burn. The only kind of only thing that bothers me a little bit is when I just swallow and it just bites into the back of the throat a little bit. Um, <coughs> but still a few seeds floating around in the mouth. Mmm. Yeah, not bad. Um, I don't know. I'll have your suggestions as to what you think it might be. Uh, I'm not quite sure why Zerajan isn't sure what it is, whether it's unknown seeds or it's a pepper that um, came from a plant that he thought was going to be something else and it looks completely different. I don't know. But definitely it's got the exact image of the Antilles Caribbean and um, right sort of level of heat. Uh, I would say that's probably three to four hundred thousand Scoville units. So yeah, pretty, pretty decent burn. Turned into a real kind of deep, solid, gentle throbbing burn now. Um, but again, no big issues. 
mainly because of the two parts I've been eating recently more than likely um, but yeah nice little way to spice up your day um, great for kind of everyday use and cooking I put um, well I mainly use scotch bonnets rather than habaneros but I use scotch bonnets and everything you know I just slice them on top of pizzas love them with eggs into omelettes scrambled egg things like that um, Still got a seed caught in my throat, and yeah, that would be that would be exactly the same, um, same kind of uses, and yeah, awesome. Well, I'm not really going to go on for much longer because, as you can see, the burn isn't really doing huge amounts to me. Now it's still quite warm, don't get me wrong, but nothing's going to get any worse. Um, I suppose if anything, it's just kind of moving forward onto the lips, tingling around a little bit now. And yeah, I've not got much of the flavour left to be honest, just a light hab flavour in the background. So yeah, awesome. Right, well thanks to um, Sarah Jan for sending that one. I know you weren't expecting me to test it, uh, but I thought I might as well because it looked like quite a tasty little pod. And um, yeah, it was indeed a tasty little pod. So that was the Piedmont Lampion, or the Unknown Chili, or the Caribbean Antilles, or whatever it was but <clears throat> whatever it was it was pretty tasty and um, yeah it's got a pretty solid decent burn to it so yeah awesome right thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you again very soon cheers